Bring life to your home with this enchanting 4x4x4 LED cube. This cube can be programmed to display many different types of 3D LED transitions. This customizable PCB LED cube is super easy to make and fun to have at your home. Using a coin cell, I tested all the 64 main LEDs and the 4 square LEDs. I designed two types of PCBs for this project. One for the base and the other one that will be installed four times to create the top four layers of the cube. While assembling the cube, I will first solder the 16 copper wires to the top section of the base plate. Then, I will solder the remaining four wires to the board. Each of these wires will connect to only one layer. Hence, all these wires are of different sizes. The first one from right connects to layer 1, next one to layer 2 and so on. Once all the wires are soldered to the top section of the base plate, I will one by one slide the LED meshes over these wires and solder them accordingly to form the top four layers. One by one, I added all the LEDs to the board. While soldering the LEDs, please make sure that they are all added to the top side of the board. Once all LEDs were in, I went ahead and soldered them to the board. After sorting out the top layer, it was time for me to set up the bottom bit. I started the setup by soldering the 400 ohm resistors to the board. Then I soldered the Arduino Nano to the board. Instead of soldering the Arduino Nano directly to the board, I used female pin headers to house the Arduino Nano. Please make sure all these components are soldered to the bottom side of the plate. After that, I one by one soldered all the copper wires to the base plate. While soldering the wires, please make sure you solder them to the top side of the board. After soldering the wires to the base plate, slide the first LED mesh and solder all the wires to it. Then slide the second one and so on. I left a 1.7 cm gap between each layer and 1.2 cm gap between the first layer and the base plate. Now the final bits. I soldered the base plate and the four flathead LEDs to the 220V to 5V step down converter. Then I pushed all the flathead LEDs through the grooves that I created in the 3D printed base. Then using the 4GX9 panhead screws, I screwed the 3D printed base to the base plate. I also created an acrylic box for the cube which will keep the cube dust free. 